welcome to the chemistry live channel today we are discuss about the synthesis of phenantoin that is a very important chapter in the discussion or in the practical session which is synthesis of phenantoin so here take a look the phenantoin its help has a two phenyl ring two carbonyl group and two secondary amine so that it self make it unique structure so now we take a look to the background of the phenantoin drug phenantoin belonging to antipileptic class of drug in short is called aids which group is made medication that work in a similar way is used for the pharmaceutical as well as pesticides industries like the all other drugs it has side effects common and serious so we'll first take a look about the pharmaceutical uses of phenantoin so the hydrantoin group can be found as several medicinal important compound in pharmaceutical hydrantoin derivatives form a class of anti convulsants phenantoin and phosphenantoin both contain hydrantoin moiety and are both used as a anti convulsant in the treatment of seizure disorder the hydrantoin derivative dactroline is used as a muscle relaxant to the treatment of malignant hyperthermia neuroleptic malignant syndrome spasticity and stc intoxication rapintoin is an example of anti arrhythmic hydrantoin common use as a antipileptic drug in the pesticides industries the hydrantoin derivative mp prothrin is a parathyroid insecticides iprodin is a popular fungicides contain hydrantoin group the side effect that can occur with hydrantoin include problem with walking coordination slur speech confusion dizziness trouble in sleeping nervousness tremors headache nausea and vomiting constipation skin rashes if the effects are mild and they will go anyway within the few days and couple of weeks the serious side effect is a suicidal thoughts on behavior so it very serious side effect of that drug so be careful before taking serious skin rashes multi organ hypertension allergic reactions low vitamin d level overgrowth of germs and lower blood cell count that is very dangerous the lower the blood cell count lower the vitamin d level the lower the vitamin d level try to pores your density of your bone and it is not good for a human so now we'll speak to the principle of that particular preparation a reaction between urea and benzyl is used to prepare a phenantoin through base catalyzed condensation here we use a base catalyzed condensation reaction the reaction is proceeding via intramolecular cyclization to form intermediate heterocyclic pinacol which acidification yield hydantoin as a result a 1 2 diphenyl shift in pinacol rearrangement reaction so here what we seen here we seen 1 2 diphenyl shift in the pinacol rearrangement so after that we will shoot the aim we were aware with the aim to prepare a phenantoin from the benzyl and urea requirement we need a benzyl urea sodium hydroxide ethanol and concentrated hydrochloric acid here the, the density of ethanol is given 0.7892 g per mole at 20 degree temperature so here the given mole ratio is about 1 raised to 2 raised to 15.38 for benzyl raised to urea raised to ethanol so if you use benzyl 1 mole then you take a urea 2 mole and ethanol 51.38 mole for the reaction but here we start the reaction with 4 g of benzyl so how much mole and how much gram of quantity we have to use for that complete the reaction so now we will take a look of that one so here i would like to write a b c d and also i would like to mark that whole that numbers because it is very useful to identification so now we will start with that one so first of all we have find c here we are going to find a c c is a mole of benzene which we get weight of benzene divide by molecular weight of benzene so the weight of benzene is 4 and molecular weight of benzene is 210.23 so ultimate we will get the mole of benzene is 0.019 that is the mole of benzene we would i would like to write here now we want to get the total amount of urea we would like to take so for that purpose we have the value of f and g so for the f we have to use that e and c so c is 0.019 and e is equal to 2 so here we get 0.038 i would also like to write here the 0.038 because it very easy to compile the rest of the stuff so h is equal to 0.038 into the molecular weight of urea 16.06 at the end we will get the weight of urea is 2.285 grams that is our first weight of urea of urea so now i would like to try to get the grams and mls of the ethanol 
So first we'll take a weight in gram and then we'll convert divide by the 0 0.789 density will convert into the ml. So how would we like to get it? So for that one we will first multiply i and c to get j which is mole of ethanol. So for that i is equal to 51.38 and c is equal to 0 0.019. So at the end we will get the mole of ethanol for that 4 gram of benzyl reaction it's about 0.977. That mole when we multiplied with the molecular weight of ethanol we will get 45.03 gram of ethanol and when we divide it with that density and then that time we will get the exact ml it's 57. So for that reaction 4 gram of benzyl if we take we need 2.285 gram of urea and 57 ml of ethanol. So with that one we start our experiment but before that we have to learn about the reaction as well as the mechanism. So first we will start with the reaction. See here when you look about the reaction what is the difference? So here we will see that two carbonyl group together. So first as I shown here the inductive effect operates here it become a negative and that lone pair of electron comes to here. After that one after the addition of H3O plus is a cyclization and we get two OH group here which is kind of intermediate and that intermediate after the removal of that H group from the OH or the density comes to that bond we will get the carbonyl group and we will get our phenantoin moiety. So to understand well the reaction we have to switch to the mechanism section. So the mechanism section as we discussed that is transfer over here the inductive effect the lone pair is attack on that side when the lone pair attack possible is here then what happened we have to get like pH C double bond O C here O minus and rest N H C double bond O here and H2 that kind of moiety we have. So again we have to switch that stuff. So again the inductive effect operates here and then this lone pair attack over here. While this reaction is complete we will get that intermediate and now real mechanism is start. So, so what is the mechanism? You have to take a look over there. So is the addition of H plus and we start the pinacol rearrangement. So how it's work? H plus is attack either that side or this side but for our conveniency we have to use that side to attack the H plus. You have to also take this OH to react with H plus. Now after the attack of H plus it become a H2O and that higher density at the oxygen so it try to remove from that stuff so here it create a positive charge with that carbon having a positive charge. Due to that positive charge the highly electro efficient or highly electro reach or the electro reach group try to attack here which is the benzene. So it's it's possessed one to diphenyl shift and come to the near to the previous benzene and we will get here again here after removal of that or shifting from here it will again here the charge is operated positive here and then the positive charge is here the OH is here so that that tries to gain the electron from that lone pair of the bond and just remove that positive sign but the positive sign again appear at the OH and that is called protonated ketone and that protonated ketone whatever we get here the protonated ketone this protonated ketone are comes to the here at the ketone formation and at the end we will get our compound pantone. So that is a mechanism you have to understand that well how the reaction is proceed okay. So now we will switch to the procedure of the reaction. So what is the procedure? In the procedure we will take 5.3 gram of whey of benzyl, 3 gram of urea and 15 ml of 30% aqueous NaOH solution and 75 ml of ethanol and 100 ml round bottom flask. So what we need we need 100 ml round bottom flask we add benzyl, we add urea, we add aqueous NaOH solution and then we add 75 ml of ethanol to the, the single flask RBF single round bottom flask. That round bottom flask attach with a condenser and boil using electric heating mantle till 2 hours. So we will heat till 2 hours, cool the room temperature, try to cool it at room temperature, pour the reaction mixture of 125 ml water and mix together, allow to stand for 15 minutes then filter under the suction to remove insoluble byproducts. So under the filter with strong acid like concentrated HCl, cool it in water and immediately filter off the precipitate product under the suction. So we will get here the crude, that crude we have to use industrial spirit and then we will completely get our crude to in recrystallization form. So it is 2.8 gram which is 44 percent and the melting point is 297 to 298 degree centigrade. So in the calculation section we have to list starting reagent is a benzyl, molecular formula is given of benzyl and phenantoin both, molecular weight of benzyl is to 10.23 gram per mole and molecular weight of phenantoin is to 52.27 gram per mole 
In the theoretical yield section, we have to take a look that if we take uh, 210 gram of benzyl convert into the 252 gram of phenantoin. So what about if we get a 4 gram of benzyl? So for that purpose, we will get the phenantoin theoretical yield as a B and the practical yield is already we will get through that practical section. So if we divide the practical yield divided by theoretical and multiplied by 100, we will get the percentage yield. And that is, this, this is a very important part of that experiment. So next we will switch to the characterization and itself it is very useful because through the characterization you allow to say yes our phenantoin compound is or that is, that is the IR spectra. In IR spectra the frequency is 3200 to 3400 we can say which is belonging to NH bond. We have a 2 NH bond one is this one is this. We have to take a look here the 30 the small frequency 3074 something or we can say here 3174 which is for hydrogen stretching frequency of aromatic so it is aromatic hydrogen stretching frequency this frequency is lie between 1726 to 1766 it is for CO band stretching frequency and bending frequency here we will get the frequency of C double bond C and that is approx 1300 to 1400 it is C double bond C frequency and this whole portion we can say it is for benzene ring. So how we can cal conclude that spectra? Yes that is the way we can conclude the spectra. So next we will switch to the mass spectrum. So mass spectrum itself say the molecular weight is 252. We will say in the molecular weight section of the previous calculation portion. So here we get one mass is 252 exact so it's m plus peak another mass peak of about 20% of abundance or 20% of relative intensity we will get it's m plus 1 and the rest of small peak is m plus 2 so we have to write this 3 and, and a part of the 3 or use of the 3 we will get okay our compound is prepared having 252.2 molecular mass so this is our next section is NMR spectrum which is very very useful to identify our prepared or our synthesized phenantoin compound how we take a look so here total number of proton is this is one proton we mentioned there is second proton third proton fifth six seven eight nine and ten we have total ten proton of aromatic ring okay here we have a two protons of NH so total we have a 12 proton how we can justify or how we can identify the 12 proton it is very useful the 2 proton which is at 7.33 we can see here that is triplet of triplet because next there is only 2 carbon is triplet of triplet because next there is only 2 hydrogen so here I, I would like to write 7.33 and the rest of with 7.28 to 7.29 it's all about 8H proton that get doublet of doublet of doublet because it has a one here one here one here one here the same in that manner so that doublet of doublet and again that split that doublet so we can doublet of doublet of doublet it's called okay it's called a unique signal here we cannot identify just uh, that signal but if we can zoom it we can definitely take a look of that one so here also there is two NH which has different signal and that looks a little bit like why there is two NH with equal environment and why they get a different signal because the 3d environment is completely different for that NH okay so what is 3d environment we will take a look here here that attached try to get closer with that hydrogen or that benzene ring a lower ppm is 10.36 and that hydrogen is far away from that benzene ring as well as on that hydrogen there is a two inductive effect operates here it will take a charge and also it will get higher ppm value so that is about 11.10 last but not least we will take a look of the result table so be aware with that one what should we write in the result table all the data you have to write it which you get from the experimental procedure so here we get through the IR we will get that compound having a CO and NH group as well has a benzene ring in addition to that C double bond C yes CH aromatic yes so from that we can conclude yes that is a benzene ring is there and is with the benzene ring there is CO and NH group attached mass says there is a 252.12 gram so M by Z ratio so the M by Z suggests that okay there is a phenantoin ring is present 
and addition to the NMR technique, it's clear that 11.10 the proton having two carbonyl group near to that and another NH near with that the benzene ring. So on the basis of that one, the CO and NH functional group is present and here uh, after the calculation of practical and theoretical yield, we'll able to find the percentage yield. So we'll write the percentage yield here. So next, there are the references from which I would just take a information to write down this experiment and present in front of you in the form of the video. So thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more notification.